a little starter fish right there. Back in the cattails in these little black bottom bays. Water temperature's warmer. We had actually been out in a different body of water and it was 55 to 57. And I look at my graph here and we have 63. So the activity level is a lot higher already in the first few minutes we've been here had one chase us out out of the cattails the water's up high so the fish are really up shallow up tight to the cover really shallow in the water i'm just twitching around a little fluke here super easy to fish kind of fish it like a jerk bait twitch twitch pause just kind of pop it along several different ways to fish a fluke which is the beauty of a fluke really There's a little better one there. Come here, dude. There we go. There's a nice large mouth. That zoom fluke stuck right in his kisser. Nice bass right there. That's a number three yacht. Little Mustang offset. It's got the little grip pin on there. Works really well for your soft plastics. Wait, see if I can't get another one. In this shallow water, you're always gonna, if, if, you, if you land it next to a fish and they're up sunning themselves or they're hungry, they're gonna move on it pretty quickly. You can usually see them, and then a lot of times you can just kill that bait and that fluke has a real nice, subtle action. Just looks like a dead minnow, you know, injured bait fish. Depending on where you live, it can look like a herring, it can look like a shad of some kind, and you can rig them a lot of different ways as well. Some people like to run a nose hook right through the front of them. I have a good buddy that does that for smallmouths. Or you can just do what I have here rigged up, and this is probably the most frequently rigged way. That's just a little wide gap hook, three aught, Texas rigged. Really, really simple. The best part about this is it's about as weedless of presentation as you can get with a nice pointed front nose. It comes right through cover. If it's weightless, you can just straight wind it right across the surface of the water. When it's real calm and slick like this, sometimes that's a, that's a really good option is just to keep your rod up high and just slow wind it. What that fluke will do, it'll just V right across the surface of the water and it'll you know it'll kind of shift back and forth back and forth back and forth so you kind of have to let the fish also dictate you know if it's if it's real warm you can get, really get it snapping and coming across and skipping across the surface but if it's a little colder or maybe you're fishing in the morning things are a little bit slower just lift that rod tip up and just wind it slow maybe pause it wind it and just hold on and, and if it's the conditions are right it is deadly. Another one. <laughs> so funny, you can see the, you can see they're right in the cattails, so it's important to throw your bait, little guy, throw your bait right up tight to the cover. <laughs> Cause you can see, if there's a fish in there, they usually shake around and they come out for it. You can tell you can tell they're in there just by the cover around your lure. You'll see one little shake of a blade of, of a cattail or a pencil reed or something. They're coming out to get it. It's a good indicator. Just keep your eyes peeled. One of the coolest things about a fluke is it's, the, you know, it's so forgiving to fish. You can hand anybody a fluke and just say, go cast it. You know, you can go beat the bank with a fluke and hand it to a kid, hand it to somebody who's, you know, maybe new to fishing. Um, you can throw it on a spinning rod, throw it on a bait caster, and you can just catch fish no matter where you go in the country. It's a really good, come on, get out of there. It's a really good fish catching lure. 
little chunk. Now that's on straight braid. And uh, the reason for that is because you could tell I had a little cover right in this immediate area. And I'm fishing it up around the cattails and stuff. So I need a little extra horsepower to get them out. This is a lighter wired hook. So I'm not, you know, I don't need that horsepower in my rod. I've actually got the braid paired with a little bit more of a limber rod so I don't tear hooks out. And being a fine, finer wired hook, it's a lighter wire so I don't need to, you know, I just kind of reel set, pick up the slack and just ease into them and that little light wire hook shoots right through the plastic and right into the kisser. Hello. It's kind of the fun thing about a brighter colored fluke too. This happens to be a little dirtier water. But between like this albino and this Tennessee shad, you can see it coming through the water pretty well. And when it goes dark, fish on. And I hate to say the word versatile, but it is a very versatile lure. You can peg a little bullet weight on there, fish it like a Texas rig on the bottom. You can fish it behind a Carolina rig. Terry Bolton will run a line through through his flukes and put a little pop rivet through them so there's, a, there's an actual treble hook out on the end of that. And that's rigged through the belly. And that's a really cool way to catch fish that are like swiping at it where you're not using a single hook. Those treble hooks, they'll, they'll get them, you know, the small mouths will hook up maybe a little better in spots, especially if you're fishing out over open water and maybe you're fishing it pretty fast and erratic. Another real popular way is, a, you know, a double fluke rig or a, or a donkey rig, which is two flukes rigged up in tandem pretty much where one is in front of the other and they both go back and forth as you work them together. Where legal, that's a really, really deadly uh, presentation is, is a double double fluke rig. So I mean there really is a a lot of different ways to to fish this bait and it's it's great for largemouth and smallmouth spots too. I mean you can you can tear them up you can tear spots up on this on this style of fishing as well. There we go. Come on out of there. Pulled him out of a dead rhizome pad up there. Oh, that hook. Hook made it home. Ooh, there we go. The albino that time. That's actually probably my favorite color day in and day out. But there's a nice little chunk right there. There we go. Fluke fishing flats. It's a really fun time if you've never done it.